greetings all and welcome to the midweek update for March 23rd in the year 2022. I'm Pastor Tal and I come to you today from the Egg Room, also known as the Conference Room, but for the next couple of weeks, it's the Egg Room. And I've got just a small sampling of the eggs that have been collected so far. There are many totes and baskets behind the camera that you can't see, but this is the display I wanted you to see today. Thank you so much for your help in collecting the eggs for the Easter egg hunt. Patty's goal was 2,000 eggs. We exceeded 2,500. We've probably exceeded 3,000. So kudos. Now we need the help in getting the stuff to fill the eggs. So if you can help us out in that way, greatly appreciated. And we'll have a date soon on when you can pick them up to help stuff them. Uh, so watch for those details. Just a few updates and reminders for you today. Uh, be reminded that this week in worship, we continue in our series on John, the Gospel of Light and Life. As we come to John chapter 15, verses 8 through 10, as we look at Jesus' farewell address. So our basically basic theme for the morning is going to be saying farewell. Also want to remind you that Easter is coming very fast, hence all the eggs in front of me this morning. Easter, April 17th. Our Easter sunrise service will be on the church grounds at 6.30 in the morning, bright and early. We look forward to seeing you there. Then we'll continue at 10 o'clock with the traditional service in the sanctuary with full brass and choir. You won't want to miss that celebration. And then at 11.30, uh, the praise team leads us in worship on the square, public square, Medina, Ohio. So we invite you to come and enjoy that worship, participate in that worship. And then allow the kids to experience the Easter egg hunt following that worship opportunity. One piece of encouragement I would give you even now is to be considering and praying about who you could invite to our Easter celebrations. It's a great time of year. People are open and receptive to that. Uh, so think about who you can be inviting to celebrate with us uh, the resurrection, uh, Easter, and all that it's about. And then be reminded that April 24th is our 10-year celebration our 10-year anniversary of being in this beautiful facility that we have been blessed with. 10-year celebration. It's coming quick. Organizational plans are well underway, and now it's time to put some hands and feet to those teams. So if you'd like to help with food or games or setup or teardown, if you'd like to serve kind of in hospitality and greeting people, um, and maybe just a question and answer person, we need your help. So beginning this Sunday, you can watch for a sign-up sheet that will be located in the general lobby near the connections table, and you can sign up for the areas that you would like to serve in. Uh, so again, that'll begin this Sunday morning in the main lobby. And we're really looking for 50 to 60 people that can help out in a variety of ways. So make sure you check that out in the coming weeks. In closing, allow me to uh, remind us to be in prayer for one another. Uh, COVID in our area anyway has subsided a wee bit, quite a bit actually, uh, but life continues to be difficult for a lot of people in a lot of different ways. So make sure you're praying for one another. Again, use your church directory as a guide. As you're seated in worship, look around the sanctuary and be in prayer for those uh, that you know and even those that you don't know. And as you continue in prayer, make sure you continue to in prayer for Ukraine and all that's happening between Russia and Ukraine right now. Uh, very difficult days uh, in that region, uh, and a lot of innocent people are wrapped up in, uh, in a war. So continue to pray in prayer for the needs that are there as you pray for one another. Well, that's all I've got for you today, friends. Blessings on your day. Thanks for the eggs. We'll see you Sunday.